Hey guys, so today I have a super fun craft for you. Um, I've been working on my sister's bridal shower and she is having a tea party themed bridal shower and I thought um, hats for all the guests, a uh, little like fascinators, you know, fancy tea party hats. So I made one for each of the guests. You can see um, each one's a little bit different, has a little alligator clip on the bottom. They are actually very easy to put together. Um, I made them out of paper. So we have to have paper, um, paper towel holder, scissors, of course, pencil, and an eraser. I use a little bit of sandpaper, the alligator clip. I was able to get like 50 of these on Amazon for, I don't know, like six bucks or something. A coffee cup, tea cup. This actually um, will be the base. And then I have decorations, you know, flowers, I have ribbons, um, buttons, all kinds of fun things to decorate it. And again, that is where you can have so much fun. Well, I have my fun paper now. I really like this one because it has all the different things on it. So the, the part around the top, this top part of the hat, um, I've been using as my sort of my base is a paper towel holder. Each paper towel holder seems to make about 10. And this doesn't have to be perfect because again, this is just kind of a base. I'm going to wrap the paper around it. So mistakes can be made at this point. I start by cutting this. And again, I'm making it like an inch and a half. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, probably none of these are exactly the same. If you want to be perfect about it, you can. Um, so I do about that much. Just cut it straight through. And again, it's not even that straight because this is just going to be my base. So all of them are kind of the same round. This. I do is I kind of just draw a line here so I know where I'm starting from just to measure on the paper um, and then I just kind of roll it along the bottom like that and and this is a case of it's not going to hurt you if you do a little bit more so I always do a little bit more because I never trust myself which <laughs> well that's all set of issues let's not get into that and this is a very forgiving thing that a lot of this you can fix and post, as they say. Um, and so I'm just going to cut that out. And it's just going to be a long strip. I'm going to go ahead and erase the lines I drew, which is why I got an eraser. I can already tell that I didn't do a straight line. But when I do this, I can kind of see where I need to cut it to make it a straight line. Again, very, very forgiving. And, you know, for the fastidious among us, if you want to be super precise, cool, more power to you. Um, when you're making, I made 28 already, so <laughs> they probably get less precise over time. All right, so we have our wonderful hot glue gun, which I don't think I mentioned we needed earlier, but as you can tell, for those of you who watched my earlier video, I got a newer, well, not, this is actually an old hot glue gun, but I got a new one to me. Um, it was my mom. She watched my video and was like, girl. So what I do is I just glued it right here. As you can see, I just put a little bit of da glue there, and I'm going to roll, as I roll it, I'm going to glue it. You can kind of see what I'm doing like that. Can you see that? All right. The great thing about using the um, paper towel holder thing is it makes you keep you honest. It makes you stay being like circular because, you know, it's really easy to stop being circular. So see, in this one, even I even have a little bit of a seam where the glue is. I will probably cover that up with decorations. Now I'm going to do the brim of the hat. Now, what I'm going to use for that is that's what the, the mug comes in. So I'm going to find there's like a really pretty lady here. I'm going to do that. And I'm using this so that all my hats are the same. And then you just cut the circle, you know, which uh, one of the reasons I actually have the sandpaper is because I am not good at cutting in actual like lines or circles or making things look nice. I always have weird edges. And I find that the sandpaper kind of just helps even out any of the craziness. So there you go. And see, I picked this one because it has this cute little lady here. Now there's going to be one other circular piece you're going to have to cut out, and that's going to be the top of the hat. Um, again, I just use this as a guide. Um, so then this would go on top. I'm just going to put glue, hot glue around the edge. Um, now this is a case where you want to be not too heavy with the glue. And then you want to get it on pretty quickly after you do that. So as you can see, it is not perfect, but um, once it's dry, I will sandpaper that down. All right. So then we're going to glue it to your bottom. Um, you know, you don't need a lot of, of glue on this, and I probably just put on a lot more than I needed. 
Uh, any mistakes like that, though, can and will get covered up by your decorations. So there you go. All right, so now we're going to get to the decorating part, which is, of course, the fun part. Before we get started, um, I think it's dry enough. I'm going to do a little sandpapering. Now, for this one, like I was saying, I didn't want a really big flower. And yeah, my sister's colors are like sage. She's doing sage flowers for her wedding and um, pink. I'm going to do like this, which is kind of fun. Like, kind of like what I have up here. That's so I'm going to do on the side here. So that kind of covered my seam. So that's all you have to think about when you're putting the alligator clip on. Like how would you expect someone to wear it like that? I want the clip to go that way. Got my line of hot glue. Decided it would go like that. Well, how easy is that? And then I have all my hats. I put them on a reef. It's just like a wire reef thing so that when people come to the party, they can just grab whichever one they want. But I thought that was kind of a fun way to do it. I just clip it on there, voila. Really cute little party favors for a tea party. Um, everybody wants their little tea party hats, right? Am I right? So super cute. Okay, cool. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed um, learning how to make tea party hats. And um, I will probably have a couple more different things I did, especially for the bridal shower. Um, Coming up, I'm planning on showing you guys how I made teacups, paper teacups out of the same paper. And um, and I'll show you how I did the bridal um, hat, which is a little different. So I'll do that on the next one. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, then you should subscribe to my channel so you can see more fun, crafty videos that I promise I will do more of. Um, but just hit the button right up here. Uh, subscribe to my channel. And... Um, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah.